Are you tired of the struggle bus of always churning out new content to share on your blog, your podcast, your email list, your social media? You want to show up consistently to attract your target readers and build your audience, but you only have so much bandwidth and you don't want marketing to take so much time away from your writing, right? This week, we're continuing our Grow by Guesting summer series of short and sweet episodes to help you grow an audience of book buyers by guesting on podcasts. And today we're going to talk about how you can create content to easily repurpose to other platforms by guesting on podcasts even before you write your book. So let's get to it. Hey, y'all, welcome to Book Marketing Mania. I'm Kim, a book marketing strategist for Christian authors, and I'm so thrilled you're here to learn how to grow your author platform, market your book on podcasts, and steward your message in a way that honors God and your time. So when you're growing an audience of book buyers, you need fresh content to serve and nurture them with week in and week out. You need long form, evergreen content, whether that's a blog post, podcast episodes, videos on YouTube, you want content that lasts and doesn't go away in 24 hours. Content that can be found months or years from now, whether that's your target reader searching for it or you're pointing your readers to it to serve their needs. If you're on Instagram or YouTube, you're probably creating short form video content to attract new people to your profile where they can learn more about your blog and podcast. If you're growing your email list, like we talked about in episode 82, you're creating lead magnets and nurture emails to serve those subscribers. Perhaps you're writing guest blog posts to help promote your message and build your platform. The content wheel churns on and on, and there's always a need for more. And you find yourself asking, how can I get it all done when there's no more time to give? That's the beauty of repurposing content. And what better way to create new content you can repurpose to other platforms easily than being a guest on podcast? Maybe you prefer speaking instead of writing, but you need to write some blog posts or write some new emails to your email list. So instead of grinding those out, you would rather go speak about a topic as a guest on a podcast, and then you can easily repurpose that. You could even repurpose it into a new episode on your own podcast. As we talked about in episode 81, there are a ton of different topics you can speak about as a guest on podcast long before and long after you have a book in hand. And oftentimes, hosts will ask you for sample questions before the interview, so you can offer up different questions that are, you know, different than the last interview you had, different than the next interview you're going to have. So you can grab all these different tidbits from these interviews that might even be about a similar topic. And you're going to be surprised by how many times you end an interview thinking, wow, I said some really good stuff on there. So why not maximize it? Maybe you wish you could have included some extra content in the book you're writing, but it didn't make the cut. Or maybe there was something you really felt you should have expanded on. You can do that as a podcast guest and repurpose it. Seriously, y'all, the list is endless for repurposing your interview content into blog posts, podcast episodes, videos, emails, etc. And one of my favorite tools to do this with is the Otter Transcription Tool. That's Otter, O-T-T-E-R. I'll put a link here in the show notes. You can upload audio or video to it, and it transcribes it for you pretty quickly. And then you can pull out pieces of content for whatever you need to use elsewhere. It is so good. I love it. I use it probably every day. Then my other favorite tool that I use every day is Canva. And holy cow, y'all, have you seen the YouTube videos on bulk creating social posts like your quotes, your reels, et cetera, on Canva? It is such a great way to repurpose your podcast interviews. And I'll include links to some of those videos in the show notes, too. And if you have some burning questions about repurposing your content, if you want to take your podcast interviews and repurpose that content and market in multiple places so you can get your message out there in less time, I'd love to help answer any questions you have and help strategize to get you moving forward in that direction. I'll put the link here in the show notes and you can book your call. And I can't wait to help you beat the heat and grow your audience of book buyers this summer. That's all for today. And as always, I'll be there for you next week to help you market your book one podcast at a time. See you then.